You like these shafts? Uh, I mean, it's a bit spicy, but I think Fnatic has better comp again. Yeah. Alright. Oh, I need to fix chat as well. Fixing chat. There we go. Uh, we have a level 1 fight. Hillisong is 1 HP. Gets the heal from Aphelios. Now Nautilus in a lot of trouble. Gets flayed back. He's just getting out attack down. I don't know why the flash was so late. And first blood 2v2 for Fnatic bot lane. XL is trolling. Fighting 2v2 when they have no heal and they have clans. And uh, yeah, what the fuck am I watching? Also, I think running TP on Yasuo is not as good as Ignite because the champion has naturally good resets. I do believe it is not open. Now, middle fight. Ooh, nice trade by Niski. Really putting the damage into Yasuo. Top a lot of... Alam is just getting outspaced pretty much. Yasuo are actually good. They play Yasuo because of Diana. Um, Yasuo Diana combo, basically you non know, counterplay, ult into ult, but it's like a uh, better Gargas Yasuo. But um, yeah, overall, I don't think Yasuo is good. Yasuo is only good as, uh, against specific comps where his wing gets value and he can like technically play lane and stuff. Okay, we have fighting mid lane, but uh, he has backup. He has backup, backup, backup. Top lane fights, uh, Christ is just gonna die. Good gang by Bipo. I don't know, Christ is in that sp spot, is so weird. He's just gonna die. No assist. Oh no, Bipo did get assist, never mind. Don't ask me that, okay? She likes me, doesn't she? Okay, whatever. Top lane, all in. I think Christ should be winning that. I think, I think his ult should be too strong. Adam just gets so good here. Yeah. I don't know what Adam was thinking. He's playing no flash ignite, uh, no flash Gwen, so he can't ult. So he can't dodge any of the Gwen ult. Oh, he doesn't not get the can, and now they're getting rid of. He doesn't should just stay on the tower, he's dead at this point anyway. I mean, he's just gonna sacrifice, not sure why he flashes. He does take a lot of damage in return for them. This is going in, now people coming. I think this is a disaster for Fnatic, maybe. Unless they get a reset on Diego. Looks like a disaster for Fnatic to me. Oh, Bipa, can he get the kill? Oh! Oh, Marcoon! That was so good! That was fucking good! That was fucking good, dude. Dude! The game is over! The game is... The game should be over, dude. 3-0 Yasuo? Hello? They're hinting, they're hinting. Dude, this is insane. Oh, he doesn't actually didn't go Moby Boots this game. Oh, they're going on Pachik. They actually managed to one-shot him. Really good gank, actually. Props to Hillisink. That was good. See the bot lane replay again. So what's happening here is the TP is coming in, right? So it's fairly overforced by Excel. Now, the thing that happens is that Hillisink is just that. He does flash to stall more time, I guess. And Markun actually takes a lot of damage. And then, like, Niski comes. Pachik flashes his ult. Viego cannot get the reset off. Really good uh, Kalista ult. Diego can just not get the reset off. Also, nice uh, Yasuo ult to stall time. And then, like, really, it comes down to, like, these really specific things. Like, Bipo couldn't get the auto attack range off. Because he, like, he actually kind of clicked that, I think. But um, overall, like, just a nice sidestep by Markun. Just a really good sidestep. But, like, um. Yasuo has a really, really cool freeze. I hope he keeps freezing right now. Because Salas can't walk up and do anything. This is so sick. Holy top moly, trade. man. Look at they're going in. Nemesis is it right now who you think are Tihi 3 Worlds teams in the EU. Who wins this though? Yeah, Niski wins, Niski wins. Tala should win. Is he gonna go in? He should. Yeah. Very nice. RBI 100 bits. Nemesis is of right now who do you think are the 3 Worlds teams in the EU? Um, right now I think it's... Right now I think it's uh, Rogue, Fnatic and... Between G2 and Matt. That's what I'm thinking right now. I mean, Excel is looking okay, but Fnatic really did come back into gold with that top lane fight, and like their main resource right now is on Salas. Uh, they also have a mountain dragon, which is huge. So I would say Fnatic is like they had so far. But it's pretty close. So Fnatic is uh, wanting to fight this dragon. Hillisan goes in. I'm not sure about Adam diving like this. 
seems like a target, but no one's focusing him. Wow, Nugdak in a lot of trouble. That's gonna give Diego a reset. I think he, the fight is just over. Fnatic just wins, no? Yeah. Okay, I have no idea, like, how Excel fought this so weirdly. So, so, so weirdly. Also, Patrick just hinted. Why didn't he take the plant? What? I mean, he survived, but, like, what? Dude, Excel fought this so, uh, so weirdly. Uh, the game's over now. Fnatic just wins, but... Like, I was so confused. So, Camille went in and just tanked four people. No one gave a shit about her. And she took away, like, 70% of HP of Yasuo, just, like, as a joke. And then, like, Yasuo gets killed, and then Diego gets a reset. I mean, of course the fight's over. I mean, Excel comp is just way worse than Fnatic's is. And the later the game goes, the harder it is for them to play, because Kalista's gonna be a fucking useless horseshit champion, just like Nautilus will be. Okay. Let's see the fight again. We are engaging with the Nautilus ult. Flash has burned. Fnatic doesn't have to engage now anymore. They can just play safe. But this is a huge Diana ult. Fnatic just got wombat. Oh my god, dude. And now Excel is back in the game and they're gonna get barn. Oh my god, dude. Stop fighting so poorly, man. You went in, you burned your ult, you got two flashes, just back fucking off and stop stacking like a sandwich. I mean, now Excel is gonna get. Excel is gonna get the Baron. The Baron is gonna give them tons of XP and gold. N then they're gonna cut Sidelands. They're gonna be actually ahead. And. Next fight's Infernal. I mean, if they can start stacking Infernals, then the game can obviously swing. Didn't you want to wake up Alice? I did. He went back to sleep. And I feel like he needs more time. I'll wake him up after this game to do the last game. Okay, we are. Uh, diving mid lane, Diego gets a reset, and Excel decided to throw the game. Woo! Penta kill for Niski. Should be a Penta. Yeah, they're gonna give it. Should be, should be. Oh, he's gonna die. Oh my god. He gets it. He gets it. Oh, he mistimed. Oh no, that should have been a Penta. Here's what happened in the skin, okay? Excel Esports. By the act of God, okay, by the act of God, decided to dive mid lane tower with Baron buff and fucking throw the game. Anyway, in the meantime, Fnatic has secured Inferno Soul, so I can assure you the game is probably over. I don't think this comp can lose with an Inferno Soul. Okay, Fnatic secures free Baron. It is a bit sloppy, they almost went into 50 50 range. Uh, people Zonia's Niski is trying to run away. I mean, I, if they can disengage, then everything is fine. I'm just not sure if they can. Niski is still running. Oh, he's trying to turn it around. <gasps> oh, he stole ult, but he was like too late on it. Wow. Yasuo is so useless also. He's so stunted. He has three items barely, and uh, most of his items are very bad items for him. Niski sold Magi. Eh, it's understandable. 5k on Elder. Uh, this is a good feedback, Excel. I like it. Oh, they get Elder. What the hell? They get Elder just for free? What the hell is Fnatic doing? Okay, here's the interesting part, right? Just listen to this, guys. Listen to this. Right now you're in Excel shoes, okay? You have to think, right? What's the win condition in this game? So, from my perspective, they're never gonna win. If Elder goes out, the chance of them getting a Baron, winning a fight, or getting another Elder is so fucking slim. I think they should base, go mid as 5, and fucking run it down. Engage immediately as soon as they can, and just fucking try to uh, try to ace them. I think that's the only play. Inhibitor is short. Go, 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 go. How much for Elder? I just still have it for some time. Okay, they're going in. Uh, Elder 1 popped. Okay, 2 popped. Oh, they didn't get Adam. Ah, oh, they're too low to keep sieging, I think. It was a nice try. Ah, if they committed harder. Oh, Nukedex is gonna base TP. How much for Elder? 30 seconds. Ooh, they can do this. Oh, he doesn't get caught. What's going on? Kalista is so fucking useless, man. Champ is so fucking useless. Holy shit. Ah, oh, there's so little minions. I'm not sure if they can do this. Aphelios will blow them up right now. 
Elder's about to go down. Yeah, it's time for Aphelios to blow them up. Right? Ah, Aphelios flushed away. Okay, Elder's out down now. Does he have Windwell? He doesn't. Now it's again in Fnatic's favor. Like, easily. It was just like... Elder was giving Excel uh, like um, insane amounts of power. Oh, they went in, but Niski got the zone off. The fight's lost. What? The fight's completely lost for Excel. There is no way they can win a fight like that after they don't get the initial burst on Silas. Oh, yikes, they got aced. Yeah, Excel has a horrible comp, and Kalista is a horrible champ that's still getting drafted in 2021. Anyway, 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 anyway. I think it was a bit unclean. Like, Fnatic had multiple moments where the game was won, same for Excel, and both teams kind of threw it until Fnatic's comp was better.